Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be welding up a simple tripod base that I'm going to use for a rush light. The rush light is a very basic form of lighting and they were common in homes where candles were far too expensive to be used on a regular basis. The rush light could be made by anybody with materials that are readily available. The wick is simply a bull rush which is treated by soaking it in oil and then it's lit very similar to the way a candle is lit. So what I'm actually putting together here is the holder that would support this wick while it's burning. The material I'm using is just 3 8 uh, round bar, mild steel, and uh, I, once again I'm using a bar that's far too long and I'll just be cutting it off where I need it later. So the first thing that I need to do is to upset the end of the bar so that I can form the scarf joint that's going to join this leg with the other two legs. I need to upset a fair amount of material here because as you'll see in a moment this scarf joint is actually going to be spread out to cover the other two legs that are in the tripod. So if I don't upset enough material here, I'm going to wind up with the center of the tripod being too thin and I want it to be at least as thick if not a little thicker than the finished leg dimensions. When I decide that I have enough material, I'm going to start flattening out the scarf and then I'm going to use the cross peen of my hammer uh, to fuller a groove right in the center of the uh, scarf. So that's essentially going to divide the scarf in two. I'm not splitting the material here, I'm just creating a thin section that's going to move the two masses off to each side. And then from there I can thin those out to form scarfs that are going to join to the other two legs. So now I'm ready to actually shape the tripod and I've taken a heat further up on the bar and I'm creating a bend. This bend is actually going to be the center of the tripod. So the bar that I'm holding in my hand is the material that I'm going to use to forge one leg and the part that's overhanging from the anvil over to the scarf that I made is long enough to forge the other two legs. So now I have to create a scarf in this corner that's going to accept the scarf that I made at the end of the bar. And if you're a little confused about what's going on, don't worry, it's about 30 seconds away from making sense. So the final step in the puzzle is to wrap the end of the bar around in a loop until the scarf at the end of the bar meets up with this bend that I've just created and the scarf that I created at that bend. So basically what this method is doing is it allows you to create a tripod without having to do a drop tong weld. So 
basically the bend in the bar is creating two legs and then I'm wrapping the one leg around to join to that center section and then later in a minute here I'll be cutting that bar off and that'll be giving me the three legs. So I'm ready to take the first welding heat and I'm going to be setting the welds using a light round face hammer because there aren't any real flat faces to work with here. It's just a bunch of curves so I need something that's going to be able to get into those curves without marking the work up too badly. I'm just concerning myself with getting the weld to hold together at this point. I can blend everything in later. Now that I have the weld set, I can split that loop in half and that will define the three legs that I'm working with. And from here I just need to straighten out the legs so I can take the final welding heats that I need to make sure that everything is welded in tight. Now I'm ready to actually shape the legs to their final dimensions. As I mentioned earlier, the center of the tripod basically defines the thickness of the leg. So what I'm doing is I'm starting from the center of the tripod, forging out that thickness, and then I'm going to use that to gauge the thickness for the legs. Once the legs are roughed out, I'm ready to cut the tripod from the bar and do the final shaping. Here I'm just using a simple chalk mark to compare the spread of the legs. Now this chalk mark isn't necessarily 120 degrees, it's just going to show me whether the other two sides are too tight or too loose. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just averaging out the difference and then I create a new chalk mark and I compare the legs again. It doesn't usually take very long to get them to fit you know the one chalk mark in. Of course once that happens you have your 120 degrees. Here I'm working from a center punch mark in the center of the tripod and I'm just scribing all the legs to the same length. And then from here I'm going over to the grinder and I'm just going to grind off the excess up to the line. I'm going to be creating a pretty simple pad detail on the end of each leg, so I'm using a cross pane that has a really broad face to it. I find that moves the metal a lot better without leaving a lot of deep hammer marks.
So that's the base of the rush light done. In the next video, I'll be forging the small pair of tongs that's actually going to be holding the wick of the rush light. Hi, I'm Dennis, and thanks for watching. If you're interested in supporting this channel, the simplest way, of course, is to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have questions and you want to contact me directly, you can do so by emailing me at either one of the addresses that I have listed here. It may take me a couple of days, but I will get back to you. Of course, financial support is always welcome. The only product that I produce is the information contained in these free videos. So if you like the work that I'm doing and the videos that I'm putting out, and you can spare a couple of dollars a month, consider becoming a patron by clicking the orange Patreon logo at the bottom of the screen. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.